as we get set for our final game of the night between Guatemala and Trinidad and Tobago. And this is a big one here in Group A as it is still up for grabs between the three teams involved in Guatemala, Trinidad, as well as the Dominican Republic. So this is a big three points on the line between these two squads as both look to improve for Trinidad and Tobago. They look for that first win here in Group A play. Meanwhile, Guatemala looking for their second win. If they can get a win tonight, they will cap off Group A and move on as we take a look at the match action today. El Salvador getting the win against Nicaragua, then USA taking down Cuba, and it will continue on there. Panama taking down Mexico, and a big game just moments ago, Costa Rica winning 5-1 to one against Canada, and what a game it was with Cesar Vargas, the goalkeeper, having a big one, also scoring a goal in that one. Really, it should have been a scoreless game for Costa Rica, but a deflection led to the only goal of Canada. What do we have in store? That is the big question for Guatemala and Trinidad and Tobago. You're looking at both these two teams want to move on to the quarterfinals, which will be held at Friday for Guatemala, the host country here in Guatemala City. They look to perform and try to come off with their second win after defeating Dominican Republic 4-2 to two for Trinidad and Tobago. They fell to Dominican Republic 4-1. to one. What will we have in store? We will find out next. Solicitamos ponerse de pie para el himno nacional de Trinidad y Tobago, seguido por el himno nacional de Guatemala.
nómina oficial de la Selección Nacional de Trinidad y Tobago. Con el número uno, André Marchand. Número cinco, que Benny. Seis, Dylan. Welcome back as we get sent for Guatemala and Trinidad and Tobago here in Group A action. You're looking at right now, Republican and Dominica is up on top. One win with one loss. Their goals for eight. Guatemala behind them in the standings with one win. They have a goal for average of four. Trinidad and Tobago right there in that last position looking for that first win. They just have the one loss as we take a look at the starters for Guatemala and what they will bring out Arvalo, Santizo, Mencia, Aguilar, as well as Arvalo will get the start tonight for Guatemala, the host country, and then for Trinidad and Tobago. In net, you'll have Andre Machan, Shea Binney, Dillon King, Jamil Neptune, and Keston George. Just the two goals here for Trinidad and Tobago, and they'll look to get things going here tonight against a tough Guatemala side. Guatemala, on the other hand, they've scored four goals and they'll look to continue to build on that here this evening. Guatemala, the host country here, as this is being held in Guatemala City. Final game of the night, so the host country closing out, and they want to close out with a show of their own as they look to get that second win here in Group A play. Guatemala coming off a win against the Dominican Republic. That one by a score of four to two. That one came on Monday. Meanwhile, Trinidad and Tobago fell to Dominica Republic. They fell by a scoreline of four to one. Great game that we just saw. Great games all day. And now the nightcap here, the late one. Referee is ready to go. Now we'll just wait for that final whistle and we will begin between Guatemala and Trinidad and Tobago. And we are underway. Trinidad in the red, kids with the black shorts. Meanwhile, Guatemala with the white in that light blue line down the middle. We'll see what team comes up on top here this evening. And for Trinidad and Tobago, they'll look for that first win and a chance to keep their hopes alive to move on to the quarterfinals as this takes a deflection and will find its way out past the end line. First corner of the night coming. Oscar Velo unable to get there. He's a 25-year-old keeper. Che Benny. Nothing happening there for Trinidad and Tobago. And now Guatemala will look to build out. Little back heel pass. Nice ball forward to Santizo. Santizo playing it across. Chance here for Guatemala, but running out of space was Arvalo. Great look there at the keeper, Andre Marchand for Trinidad and Tobago. As this one will go over the head, and now just ushering this out of play will be Alan Aguiar. Aguilar, a 31 year old. Experience on both sides as well as youth. You just hope the youthful exuberance doesn't lead to any big mistakes. Nice little ball over the top intended for Arvalo and Marchand right there for Trinidad and Tobago. A great look at the Guatemalan side. This one will find its way out and a short corner will be coming. And now heading over to the corner will be Santizo. Maybe an opportunity here for Trinidad and Tobago. A chance, cut across, stumbling and then cleared away off the line. Good job there. Protecting that by Jose Mencia. It looked like here, Jamil Neptune was gonna have a chance on the crossover, but nothing going for Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, 
Nice little scoop pass, and that one blocked away by Marshawn. See the creativity shown here early by Guatemala. Four, Neptune up ahead, but he's gonna run out of room. That's gonna find its way over everyone, so just trading possessions back and forth right now. Dillon King, he had a chance earlier. This with defense force normally, but here on the footstool side of things. That one's gonna find its way in his stance. Nice power behind that shot attempt by Santizo. 34 year old, he's had a couple of chances. King. Neptune plays it out. Benny. See, just off balance on that attempt was Keston George. Neptune. Benny. Benny loses possession, just shepherding this one out on the play as Aguilar. Guatemala will come back for a reset. Guatemala with a one victory over Dominican Republic. stands right now with one win and one draw. And look at this one possibly coming down on the wire. Really, the result's going to be key to this one on who sits atop of the Group A standings. will play it down the line. Mencia looking to go ahead to Arvalo. Marshawn though right there to collect and drop the ball back. Now he'll play it over to King. King comes near side. Benny. George. Neptune. On to the end line. Oh, that was a shot or a pass, but a missed touch nonetheless there on the play by Che Benny. He had a runner going through the center, but sent it well over as Dean Humes gets ready to come on for Guatemala. Sandoval. Sandoval unable to get around George, but George, he had more time to work with. Instead, he tried to fire a shot off and catch Arvalo off guard, but sent it well, well wide. collision between Hume on the play as well as Benny, and this will go against Benny of Trinidad and Tobago. Here, look at the 32-year-old Sandoval right there as he'll hold possession. Another giveaway here by Guatemala, and there you have on the play Dean Humes taking down Che Benny. Well, we've seen those two collide already twice now since Hume has come on. And there at Hume, you can see, well, he's got the seatbelt right around Che Benny. Rollo lining up his wall. On that far post is Dean Humes.
Still waiting for a go ahead and our referee will back off. Carvalho, a little bit of a push there. And now having a step aside will be Jamil Neptune. Neptune blocking the way of Arvalo. Missed chance there for Benny as he sends it well off the mark. Look at Guatemala, 2008 champions making their fifth appearance. In 2012, they finished second. In 2016, they finished third. Meanwhile, on the other side, for Trinidad and Tobago appearing in their third CONCACAF football championship, but their first since 2008. The only time they have been here before is 2008 and 2004. That one off the crossbar. Marshawn might have got a piece of it. What a strike there on that chance by Guatemala and Roberto Alvarado. Alvarado sent that one by Marshawn. He couldn't even get his reflexes up fast enough. That was a rocket. Humes. Give this in favor of Trinidad and Tobago. No argument from Guatemala. It's a little over four minutes into this match between Guatemala and Trinidad and Tobago here in Group A. Right, start for both these two teams. Our best chance coming just moments ago by Roberto Alvarado, the 23-year-old, who ripped one off the crossbar. We have a free kick opportunity by Trinidad and Tobago, but Chase Binney sent it well off the target. Give away. Chance here. Alvarado denied by Marshawn. Marshawn going to the ground for that save, and now maybe a chance here for Trinidad and Tobago. Looking to counter is Guatemala. The transition here between both these two teams these last couple possessions. Corner here for Guatemala. The shot, and that one well over the crossbar. Walter Enrique, the 33-year-old, had a great look. Just got a little too far under that ball. Lifted it just a little too much. Long ball over the top. A great pass down, Oliveira, though, just could not bring that down off the chest. Dangerous play right there, nearly losing it with Sandoval, and now Guatemala does lose possession. Trinidad and Tobago looking to capitalize on the mistake. They win tonight, will push Guatemala to that top spot in here in Group A. For Trinidad and Tobago, they're looking for that first win or draw. They're looking for their first points here. Right now, Dominican Republic on top with one win and one draw. Humes will play it in. Humes going up top, but no one on a run. Enrique has held his run off. Scoop pass, not happening. Humes. We're going to go out wide now. A chance here for Trinidad and Tobago. Well, she'll give it a go, and Alvarado able to make a stop. Well, you can see he just couldn't get both hands on it. He wanted to grab his ball. Able to knock it down nonetheless. Get a handball there against Trinidad and Tobago's Aaron Lester. Trinidad and Tobago aiming to reach the knockout round for the first time ever. 
will have their work cut out for them tonight here against a tough Guatemala side. Ruiz gives it over, now gets it back. Just overruns the ball there more than anything. Trying to drag it with that back foot, but loses possession. Scoreless here, just over six minutes in between Guatemala and Trinidad and Tobago in our final game. And that one just off the post. In our final game here in the group play. Now Gonzalez will set up. Kept in on that far line. But once again, given away by Kapanyak in Guatemala. Welch. Welch gets it on the return pass, keeps it in play. No, they're going to say he was out. So now a chance here in Gu for Guatemala and the attacking end. See if they can take advantage of this opportunity. Gonzalez, the 30-year-old, sets up. He'll run by. Look at that setup play there between Gonzalez and Josie Olay, the 33-year-old. Come on, they've shown their creativity early here. Still looking for that first goal from both sides. Olay. Cognac back to Olay. Nearly losing that was Kampanyak. And they're going to give this one to Trinidad and Tobago since no one from Trinidad and Tobago touched that ball. Another dangerous opportunity for Trinidad and Tobago. Last time we saw Che Benny send a shot attempt well wide. Let's see how they adjust this time out. Sean De Silva will line up. Silva born in Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. Went to the College of Charleston. She has eight caps with the national team. Conde Silva looks to pass it over to Benny, does, and the big man, Navarro, right in there. Navarro with another save to keep this game scoreless. That's what you need from the keeper, big stops. Oh, great long ball. That one denied by Marchand. Good opportunity there by Kampaniak, just couldn't finish. Kampaniak on the ball again, left foot. This one comes out to Alay. Alay gets around the defender, but too heavy of a touch. Well, the two best chances of the night for Trinidad and Tobago have come off kicks. Meanwhile, Guatemala has been able to get opportunities in the run of play. Opportunity here, Kampanyak. Again, is Trinidad and Tobago's Aaron Adrian Welch. Trinidad 
and Tobago have had numbers a couple different times on that on-man rush, just have not been able to finish. Away. Leaves a defender. Going down with Plaza. Kampanyak. He'll lay it back. Ruiz. Kampanyak. Delay just behind the midway line. Nice sidestep by Gonzalez. Rashawn wants to give him a shot. Three big saves now, and then the chip over. Oh, wow! What an opening goal for Trinidad and Tobago going the length for the first goal, Jay Benny. Wow, you want to talk about a strike, you want to talk about skill. Just look back at Che Benny, the length of the floor, left-footed ball, catches Arvalo off his line, and nothing Arvalo can do. Benny opens up the scoring, one to zero for Trinidad and Tobago. Benny also had a couple chances on it, two free kicks. Couldn't finish there, but you know what? He had the leg, he showed the strength and the skill. And now Trinidad and Tobago looking to add to the total. Trinidad and Tobago need to win this game if they want to keep their hopes alive from advancing from the group stage. Guatemala now looking to find an equalizer. Plaza. Arvalo slowly inches forward. See that heavy pressure there by Ramdin. trying to connect with Santizo. Santizo was able to get that ball on his foot, maybe a chance. He would have been all alone against Marshawn. little back heel there, but Guatemala in the perfect spot, and then they just give it right back to Marshawn. Quick inline to inline, Keston George, though, couldn't keep it in play. Nice long ball. His foot on it was the goal scorer, Che Benny. <laughs> Guatemala will reset. High lofting pass on the volley. Aguilar sending that one right at the frame. Trying to 
game so far to start. Santizo, nice cut, and Santizo, oh, Marshawn with enough to get that to go wide. Santizo looked like he was gonna have the first goal for Guatemala, great job bringing it to his left foot, trying to go through the legs of Marshawn. Marshawn just gets enough. Guatemala here, oh great defensive play there by King to get his leg on the ball. Benny with another rocket, the follow up, and Arvalo, two big stops. Arvalo just right there in the center, but you can see the angle that he had. Being a little bit of further out on his line, allowed him to make that second save, which was massive. Santizo comes near side. Aguilar, right corner. Guatemala on the scoreboard. Good job here by Guatemala. Good move in Santizo, plays it over to Aguilar, has a little space and just gets it to go in that corner. Looked like it might have hit off the knee. We might have had a deflected goal in there against Trinidad and Tobago. But the captain gets on the scoreboard for Guatemala. And now we are all knotted up at one apiece. For Trinidad and Tobago, this is a must win game and they will need goals to help propel them along. Right now they sit in the bottom of the Group A standings, Dominican Republic in the top spot, Guatemala right behind them. Quarterfinals will be on Friday. Games will begin at 2.30. Final game that night will be at 10 p.m. All teams will have a bye tomorrow. A day off, day of rest. Santizo sets up. Santizo with a great assist on that opening goal for Guatemala. Preston loses possession. Two on one chance. Santizo crosses it. Santizo gets the ball back. Brings it to his left. And that one sent to the roof. What a goal right there on the play by Jose Mencia. Once again, Santizo being the creator. The patience here by Santizo gets his team into a better position and then somehow at that steep angle, Mancia puts it in the roof and gets the second goal for Guatemala. Big goal right there. momentum switching in its favor of Guatemala. Close team looking for a big win. Another big save by Arvalo. Opportunity here for Guatemala. Marchand says no. The follow up, oh, right in front was Fernando Campagnac. The 26-year-old sends it over. Marshawn with a great save. 
headed back, but right to Kampaniak, tries the volley. Arvalo, he's already had a few big saves for Guatemala. Sean, he's also had a couple himself, but right now Guatemala leading two to one. A win tonight for Guatemala, and they would leapfrog Dominican Republic, and they would be in that top spot. Now numbers for Guatemala, but tracking back is Trinidad and Tobago. Good job defensively of rushing back. <laughs> Plaza trying to weave through three players, unable to do so. Chance here, and that one into the side netting by Roberto Alvarado. I wonder if Alvarado crosses his back. Maybe he gives Sandoval an opportunity. You look at the lone goal from Che Binney coming the length of the floor. Guatemala, though, two close ones. Much different ways of scoring, but either way, gets the job done for both sides. Sandoval. Good movement here by Guatemala. An opportunity, oh, just wide. What a setup, but unable to get through was Alvarado. You love the patience there by Guatemala. Not taking a risk, just letting the play develop, but Alvarado couldn't get into that far post. Trinidad and Tobago wants a call, but they're not going to get it. It looked like Neptune just slipped. Ovalo. It's seen it happen in so many different games where a player will catch a keeper off their line and take advantage of them. That's exactly what happened on that Che Benny goal. Otherwise, it's 2-0 Guatemala. Sandoval loses possession. Good job controlling by George. And that strike ends up wide. What a rip there by Dylan King. He had plenty of time to tee that up, and he sent a missile left. Enriquez sets up. Arvalo looks to go over the top. And this time in that strike was Kampaniak. 619 remains in the first half. Our score two to one. Guatemala on top. Goals from Aguilar and Mencia, both assisted by Santizo. Meanwhile, Che Binney with a lone goal for Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago, this is a must win for them. They will need to win by three goals if they want to move on. Right now, Dominican Republic up top, Guatemala right behind them. 
Take a look back. Here's that Che Binney goal. Look at that left foot. Arvalo off his line. Can't do anything about it. And there's Trinidad and Tobago's first. And here, Guatemala would put it in. Aguilar going to the right side. Great setup here. And then the finish by Mancia. Putting it underneath the roof for the second goal for Guatemala. You look at these two teams. Guatemala much patient, much more patient in their buildup. Trinidad and Tobago, they usually like to go. They don't try to set up too much in the attacking end. We'll see if they change that. But one of the things that Trinidad and Tobago is not afraid of, they will shoot from distance, and they have shown players with some rockets of legs. Plaza gets through two defenders. Now loses the ball, a chance here for Guatemala. Two on one at the moment. The follow-up, Marchand right there. Oh, the chip was too much. Santizo want to loft that one over. It gets a missed touch, and he knows it. Come near side, Santizo. Ruiz back to Santizo. Aguilar, Guatemala not trying to force anything, just being patient. Backing up now. Space in that Guatemala created right there. You see the thumbs up by Jose Mancia. If that's a better ball in that pass, he's got nothing but blue in front of him to go right at Marchand. A lot of teams, when they back up in their own end, they get a little nervous. They maybe play a bad ball out, not Guatemala. Maybe we'll see if Trinidad and Tobago start to pressure with those guys, with their defenders up front and then lay off maybe a little bit more so on the back so they can't get that free run in behind them like we just saw. The giveaway, Benny sidesteps, loses possession. Numbers for Guatemala once again. Good job coming back defensively by Oliveira. Now on the other counter, oh, great stop by Santizo. For sure what looked like an opportunity for Trinidad and Tobago was denied by Santizo. He's having an excellent first half. That tune. Headed out, but only as far as King, and now a kick here from the far touchline. Benny, Santizo, couple of fives going at it, hip to hip. A great pass and the finish by Jamil Neptune. That one was building, you can see Oliviera on the near side had Neptune on the opposite. Smart decision there as Neptune is able to finish. Oliviera gets it across, Neptune, nothing but a wide open net. Back to two apiece, tied up once again. Oh, a great thought there by Sandoval, but not able to go through the legs of Marchand. This touch there by Arvalo. And then you have the collision between the two sixes, King and Alay. Alay the man down for Guatemala. Alay now being 
helped up. Take a look back at this replay. Oh. And to be fair there, King didn't even get him. It was the ball that hit him in the face. King was on the shoulder, just hey, rubbed his shoulder a little bit, but not much there. The ball was the one that inflicted the damage. By the way, it doesn't feel good, but definitely not on King on that one. trying to link up there with Enriquez. Good closure there by Trinidad and Tobago though. The giveaway, Benny. Three on one. One chance there if Jose LA doesn't trip over his own feet. Well, you gotta think you have opposite sides, wing to wing. Here, it just you can see him, he just gets stuck in the ground, both feet. Two players on both sides, and just a missed chance there for Guatemala. Of course, Trent and Bago, they'll take that any day of the week. stage here between Guatemala and Trinidad and Tobago. An opportunity here for Guatemala. Sometimes Guatemala being a little too unselfish. Now coming off will be Ron Dean. He'll lay it off for a lay. Alvarado with an opportunity. They're saying advantage there. Alvarado having his shorts tugged, but they allow the advantage in Alvarado to continue forward. Let's see if they bring this back. You can see here King grabbing the shorts. Alvarado powering through. That one stopped by Marshawn and sent the other way. Great strike by Sandoval. Marshawn with another quality save for Trinidad and Tobago. Giveaway, Benny, Benny! Nervalo with another stop for Guatemala. Look at Benny, just patience, working his way. Oh, just a toe from Arvalo getting the save. Doesn't matter which body part it is, as long as it stops it, that's what Arvalo and Guatemala will take. Sandoval goes far side. Alvarado playing it in. That one cut out on the play by Neptune. Neptune who has the second goal for Trinidad and Tobago. Sandoval 
Recycles it to Lay. Alvarado knocked off the ball. Bonnie's falling to the floor. A great pass over. Another terrific save by Arvalo. Going right down to the floor. Arvalo, he has come up with some big stops. Great pass. Streaking across to that back post was George. But Arvalo with another dynamic save. Just under a minute remaining in this first half. Our score, two to two between Guatemala and Trinidad and Tobago. So some final instructions here before halftime. Of course, we will have highlights from this game right here in Group A, final game of the group stage. Group A still wide open. As both these two teams hope to move on Look at how this scoring got started in this one. Che Binney from long range, the length of the floor. Then Aguilar and Mencia would score for Guatemala. And then getting the late equalizer here was Jamil Neptune. Santizo for Guatemala has assisted on both goals. Mashani, he's had a solid night in net as well as Arvalo. Make the argument that Trinidad and Tobago should probably be up in this one, but Arvalo with some big, big saves for Guatemala. Let's see if we can get a late goal here in the half, or are we gonna go to halftime here? All knotted up at two apiece. Great pass across, Mencia still in control. Nice back heel, oh, and unable to finish was Aguilar. Great little back pass on that tap back. Aguilar just cannot squeeze it through. Santizo. Benny plays it away. Neptune. Ruiz, going to the far side of the floor. Ruiz lines up. At one, oh, Marshawn gets a left hand on. And you can see the appreciation there from his teammate, Che Benny. Look at this strike. Marshawn, if he doesn't get that left hand on, that's got upper 90 written all over it. Santizo plays it in. Six seconds remains. Another opportunity here for Guatemala to get a late goal as time expires here in the first half. Can they get it by Marshawn, or will we go to half at two apiece? Ruiz. Santizo! Three tenths of a second left, and this one's gonna close out the half. Marshawn limping around there, maybe because of that diving save he made where he went full tilt. But this one will end at half here. Two apiece between Guatemala and Trinidad and Tobago. We'll step aside, we'll be back with highlights when we return.
20 minutes in the books between Guatemala and Trinidad and Tobago. And we saw four goals in that first half between the two squads. What will have the second half have in store? Well, we'll find out, but we'll take a look back at the first half highlights between these two countries. Some big saves by both keepers, some missed opportunities on both sides there. You see this one go over the crossbar. What a strike there by Alvarado, just cannot finish. There, a brilliant save by Arvalo on Welch. Marshawn getting a piece right there. Another save by Marshawn. And then Benny going the length over Arvalo for the first goal of the game. What a goal by Benny. Benny had two excellent chances earlier. Couldn't finish from close range. So you know what he does? He just backs it up all the way. Great angle from our back camera right there. Doing an excellent job showing that one. Santizo, great first half. Here he would get denied on the shot attempt. Marshawn able to close up. There you would have the follow up. Another tremendous save by Arvalo on King. Here is Santizo. This one played and that one would find the right corner and that one would be scored by Aguilar. Beautiful ball right there. A nice pass by Santizo to step it up. Santizo would not be done. He would get a second assist in this game as here he plays it out wide. Gets back on the ball, and then just a nice little soft pass right there to Mancia, and Mancia would put it up on the roof and in for the second goal for Guatemala. Guatemala looked like the stronger team, but you know what? They relaxed just a little, and when they did, Trinidad and Tobago able to come back into this one, as there you get another great angle from that goal. Here, Che Benny. Fights for the ball, pokes it over to Oliviera. Oliviera gives it over to Neptune. Neptune with the finish. And that would be the second goal for Trinidad and Tobago in this first half as we would go to half tied at two apiece. A large reason, Arvalo, he had a solid first half. Yes, he did allow the two goals, but he had some big saves. Marshawn also with some great saves as well. There, look at Arvalo going down to get that one. Marshawn had it. He had a full tilt save that he knocked away with his left hand to keep this game at two apiece. What will the next 20 minutes have in store? We'll stick around and we will find out.
20 minutes in the books. Let's see what the second half has in store for us between Guatemala and Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad, they must win if they want to move on. They also need to score at least four more goals in order for that to happen. If Guatemala wins or ties, they will take that top spot here in Group A and the Dominican Republic will finish second. So 20 more minutes will decide the outcome of this one between Guatemala and Trinidad and Tobago. Both teams have had multiple goals in this one. Both teams, goalkeepers have come up big. What's gonna be the story here in the second half? We will find out here in this next 20 minutes. This one played over the top and Arvala will quickly roll it away. Santizo plays it up, oh great ball, oh Marchand gets that one knocked away. What an opportunity there by Aguilar, Marchand with another save for Trinidad and Tobago. Look at that, Marchand just slides over, gets his chest in the way of Aguilar and makes a stop and then makes another one right there, long throw over the top, looking for Neptune. If Neptune gets on that, maybe he has a chance. Get past that back line as Ruiz and hits it off the hip of King. Three on two chance here for a moment. And now Guatemala will look to change and go. Santizo. Patience. Ruiz. And that one finds its way in. Takes a couple of deflections. Goes up and over. Ruiz, he had the opportunity to lift that one on the roof first. Elected to go down low. Stuck with it. Gets the rebound. Puts it in for the third goal for Guatemala. Look at this, Ruiz, He's trying to go between the legs of Marchand, gets the rebound. Now he goes up and over and gets that third goal. Santiso, once again, the man starting that. He's been really the person that has influenced every one of these goals has been that guy, Edgar Santizo, the 34-year-old. He is playing outstanding tonight. Now a one goal lead for Guatemala. How does Trinidad and Tobago respond? Can they get that equalizer here quick? Aguilar comes to Ruiz, last goal scorer, Santizo. Let's see what? Aguilar and Santizo want to do. They're almost wheeling around with Santizo, but just did not have enough speed. Chance here for Guatemala. That one off the leg of King. The 25 year old with the last goal, and that one sent well off target. King. Ruiz. Seen this all night from Guatemala. Basically working from the back line in their own defensive third. We've seen creativity tonight from Guatemala. We've seen patience. Some brilliant saves by Arvalo. Right now up three to two. Giveaway. King. Long pass. And that one just over the head of Jose Mencia, who has a goal earlier in the first half. 
Neptune. Neptune also with a goal for Trinidad and Tobago. No power behind that. Easy stop for Arvalo. Enriquez. See some substitutions coming on here for Guatemala. Enriquez, one of those subs. Alvarado. Sandoval trying to elude his defender, George. Sandoval will play it out wide on the return pass. Out of the near side, Enriquez. Oh, good job stepping around by Alvarado. Alvarado! Initially, he wanted to take that at the top, just was knocked off the ball for a moment. It had to go a little bit wider than he would have liked for that shot attempt. Chance here coming on the kick. See that three person wall on the near post. Sandoval, big opportunity here for Guatemala. Sandoval will drop it back. Good job coming out there by Willis Plaza to block that one out of play. Alvarado with the right and skies it into the stands. King coming near side to Silva. Enriquez. Alvarado with that right foot again. Oh, took a couple deflections. Alvarado's doing a good job there up at the top, just kind of towing that line to the center. Seen him do that now a couple different times here in the second half. They're going to give him that space and that ability to walk that way. He's going to take it every time. Now Trinidad and Tobago looking to be dangerous here in the attacking half. Oliveira will play back, King. Good give and go, and that pass too strong, but deflected out by Guatemala. And then the giveaway, two on one opportunity. And just that slow pass back on that roller by Alvarado, allow Trinidad and Tobago to get back in position. I'd like to see Alvarado play that space a little bit more than he did. Play that in front of your man rather than behind. So some confusion. Guatemala thought that was last touch by Trinidad and Tobago, and now we're going to have a corner. Oliveira plays it in. Earlier tonight, El Salvador in Group D beat Nicaragua 5 to 2. USA beat Cuba. Panama beat Mexico 5 to 4. What was a very close one to the final few minutes. And then Costa Rica controlled the game against Canada. Again, the victory 5 to 1 for 
Costa Rica, they have allowed only one goal here in the group stage, the fewest of any team. In fact, they're the only one to have a clean sheet in the first round. Looks like they're gonna have it tonight again, but a deflection led to a goal. Chance here for Guatemala, nice pass over. Marchand comes over and then cleared up into the sky on the play by Welch. And they're gonna have to bring this back. Good job there by Che Binney of coming out for that block. Binney, a bright future ahead of him, just 20 years old. Coming on is Aguilar, the captain back on for Guatemala. On the other side, Aaron Lester, the captain for Trinidad and Tobago. Chance here for Guatemala. And Sia, drop back pass to Aguilar, but he sends it up and out of play. Welch to Silva. Pop pass. Chest it down. I like that bomb process there by De Silva, but no one on the other end to capitalize. Sentizo. Ruiz with the back heel pass. And Sia. Oh, great job finding space there by Guatemala. Too heavy on the touch. That's the thing. Guatemala keeps backing up like they're under pressure. Like you think they're going to turn the ball over. And then they just find enough space where they can push it ahead. They do a good job of like pulling you in thinking you're gonna make them make a mistake and then they capitalize on you numerous times. Marshawn will kick this away. Aguilar nearly dispossessing the ball right there. Marshawn isn't in that perfect position. Maybe another chance for Guatemala. Ruiz, oh, he played that over maybe at two. You want Ruiz, I think, to be a little bit more selfish on that one and try to take a shot as opposed to passing that over to Aguilar. I think Ruiz right there has, oh, that's, well, it's a tough one. That's a great ball across, just a little heavy. From that angle, you could see how close it was on the pass. Benny. Welch just left of the frame. Ruiz. And seven minutes has gone by here in the second half. A lone goal coming from Wanderly Ruiz, the 25 year old. Ruiz in possession, loses it. Chance for Benny. Benny, leaving to the outside. Coming over to help defensively was Mencia.
must win here for Trinidad and Tobago, and they are gonna need to score a few more goals if they wanna move on. They need to at least win by four goals in order to move on to Guatemala. A win or a draw will give them that top spot in Group A. Draw will do no good for Trinidad and Tobago. Ruiz. Little Santizo, King right there. King with a little space. Can't get it by Arvalo. He got it with his left paw. Aguilar will come off. That was a game of matchups. Who's on the floor? Who's off? Strengths versus weaknesses. Nice little toe poke ahead and chance here. Great pass off. Like what Alvarado was doing there on that buildup. We've seen again Alvarado cut to the center to create space. Here he does it again. And then coming up from behind on the play was a lay. Neptune. George. This one sent up and over and out of play. Good job there by Lester of shielding away on the play of Arado. John clears it. Neptune. That ball was out on Neptune, but they're going to say Trinidad and Tobago ball. Neptune able to keep it in play. And this one repelled away. So good at creating space, Alvarado! Alvarado really has been the man of the second half here for Guatemala, but nothing to show for it as of yet. Oh, great pass ahead, and Arvalo once again denying Trinidad and Tobago of what looked like for a sure goal. Arvalo has been outstanding. Well, the previous game that we had, we had great goalkeeping, and then we did it once again here in the final game of the group stage. Look at the game before with Cesar Vargas. What a game he had, much smaller in terms of height and size than Arvalo, both getting it done in different ways. Both really keeping their teams in these games. Arvalo with the diving save right there. Nearly the halfway.
midway point of the second half. Guatemala up three to two, a win or a draw, and they will take that top spot in Group A. Santizo, oh, nice move by Santizo. of these shots by Trinidad and Tobago. Well, they'll settle for the distance shot, but they have no accuracy on them. That's their biggest issue, other than, of course, the one that went the length of the floor from Che Binney. But very rare are you gonna catch a goalkeeper off their line like Benny did for that first goal. Ruiz with a lone goal here in the second half. Guatemala once again showing their patience, showing their ability to build out their own end. Clever little back pass, Ruiz. George giving chase, we'll leave it back for Marchand. That one off the head of Santizo. And that one off of Santizo, and we'll try this corner again. Santizo outstanding in this one. Alvarado also doing a great job for Guatemala. Follow the keeper has been absolutely massive here. Sean and Santizo. We've seen this play numerous times from Guatemala. This was the best one executed. Didn't result in anything, but oh, there you get the high leg, and then it does get on the side of Santizo, right there on the cheek, as well as the shoulder. Dangerous play there by the keeper, Marshawn. Play that ball on the shot attempt. Chance here for Guatemala. Nice little back heel. Oh, Marchand sends it away. Oliveira. Oh, Santizo with a brilliant stop defensively. Ruiz looking for Santizo. Santizo showing he can do it on both ends of the floor. The hustle there from Ramdin just can't control the ball. Arvalo will play it wide, Santizo. Some of these guys are gonna definitely need that day off tomorrow to recover for the quarterfinals. Been a lot of high work rate for both sides. Chance here for Guatemala. Aguilar! So you can see it, he's dragging that ball, dragging that ball, but then he just loses it. Stays at his feet, might give himself a chance. Aguilar, the captain, dispossesses the ball, but can't control it. Oh, great pass to the back post by Oliveira. I believe it was Ramdin there lurking. 
It was Romdine, just couldn't get his foot on it. Romdine gets that foot on. He's got a tight game for sure. And there's that little wheel route. Oh, a chance here, Guatemala. Oh, and just slowing up. Gonzalez was, had an opportunity. I can't see who has their hands on their knees. But if they continue to play through, you have to think that's a goal for Guatemala. I believe it's Enriquez, the man that was hunched over. You have to think, maybe one more goal from Guatemala and that might put it away for them. They have done an excellent job controlling this game here in the second half. Best chances really for Trinidad and Tobago have come from distance other than that cross we just saw moments ago. Trinidad and Tobago. Is this one tend to be threaded through? Group D, United States winning that. They will have that top spot. And that one finds the corner. Second goal of the night for Che Benny. And we are all tied up at three apiece. Benny doing a good job sticking with that. Just goes right under the arm of Arvalo. So Benny now with a brace here this evening. A draw will not be good enough though for Trinidad and Tobago to advance. They need a win and they need a win by at least four goals. A little bit of life though in them after that goal. Getting back to that. Groups that have already been decided, United States and El Salvador will move on. In Group C, it'll be Costa Rica in that top spot and Canada. And then you're looking at Group B, Panama and Suriname will be moving on as well. Quarterfinals will begin Friday at 2.30. Semifinals will be Saturday. We'll have the final as well as a third place game on Sunday for you. Sandoval got a piece. Oh, great pass. Oh, what a save on the line by Jamil Neptune to keep this game at three. And here a chance. Oh, just goes by while well, Neptune makes a great save off the end line and then just cannot control the possession. Gets the turnover and then tries going his right, loses his balance and goes to the floor. Otherwise, might have for sure had a one goal lead. Santizo held up on the play by Shea Benny.
dispossession of the ball by Willis Plaza. Chance here for Trinidad and Tobago. Benny. Benny already has two goals. Could he have our second hat trick here in the group stage? Here's the first coming from Panama. Santizo. Chester Marchand. Now on the counter. Benny looking for that third goal. Ruiz. Ruiz tripped up and that's going to draw the whistle of our referee. The shot by Santizo up and over. Collision there, Arvalo able to get enough of that right there was Jamil Neptune. And yes, that one's definitely coming back. You see the double arm grab there by Jose Mencia. Mencia saying his jersey was grabbed earlier. Well, that's not going to do enough. That was a clear foul by Mencia. Right there, just grabs the arm up. I'm going to get it a second hand on there, and yep, this is going to be a foul on a yellow card. Sets up. De Silva. Three to two was the score. Che Binney gets a big goal to tie it up at three apiece. And that is where we stand right now between Guatemala and Trinidad and Tobago, the host team looking to get that top spot in Group A. A win or a draw will do that for them. This is the game that closes out the group stage. So thank you for sticking around with us. Thank you for tuning in to all the games today. We've had some great matchups across the board in all the groups. Quarterfinals will begin on Friday. Saturday, the semis. And then Sunday, you'll have the third place game as well as the final for Guatemala. They're seeking their fourth berth into the FIFA Coastal World Cup. They've done it in 2008, 2012, and 2026. In 2008, they won the CONCACAF Football Championship. They've also finished in second and third. They finished second in 2012. 2016, they finished third. Neptune, that one blocked in front. Now charging forward is Guatemala, Sandoval. Plays it wide. Maybe one too many passes there for the Guatemalans. Story really for Olivier and Trinidad and Tobago, settling for too many distant shots. Opportunity here for Lay, cuts it across. 
Just need a little bit more pace behind that pass. Excellent opportunity. Oh, great size that by Benny, but one too many moves. Ravalo well off his line. Oliviera wanted to chip it over. Couldn't get it around. Benny loses his ball, three on one chance. Marchand gets the left foot on it though. Missed chance there for Guatemala. Benny to his left. And that one swatted away by the keeper, Arbalo. Stop by our follow once again. Punches that away with both hands out into the crowd or the stands, I should say, since no crowd is here. But another save by our follow nonetheless. Guatemala looking to move on to the quarterfinals. You just need a draw in order to do that. You look out of all the four groups, only draws coming were in Group D with the United States and El Salvador. Trinidad and Tobago. The ever dangerous left foot of Benny will line up. Benny sets up. for Guatemala, they just want to get that one last goal and just put this one to bed. Santizo. Neptune, looking for Benny. Oh, great pass ahead. Oh, and just wide by Mancia as he nearly had a brace. Great pass by Santizo up, Mancia just sends it wide. Can you gotta think at some point Trinidad and Tobago is really gonna start pushing forward into that attacking area. Nice little loop around, but unable to keep it in play is Aguilar, the captain. Benny. Corner here. Neptune. Plays it across. Oh, deflected away. Chance for Guatemala to run. Three on two at the moment. And that's going to find its way in. And it, the captain will add to the goal total as Aguilar makes it four to three. Guatemala back in front. 
Good counter here by Guatemala. Aguilar on that right side. Santiza once again distributing the ball, and Aguilar finishes. Ruiz was there at the other end just in case he needed to tap it in. Great job there by Guatemala. Santizo with three assists tonight. Really, you could say four. He has been absolutely magnificent for Guatemala. And now a minute 44 remains in Guatemala. A win, and they will sit atop of the Group A standings. think there if George gets his foot on it he might be able to tip it in redirection would have been huge there for Guatemala for Trinidad and Tobago and Trinidad and Tobago final late equalizer and Guatemala continue to play with patience here and just try to let time run out Sometimes when you slow things up too much, it takes you away from your game and allows the other team to get involved once again. stranger to advancing on to the knockout stages as they have won this once before that back in 2008 and they are normally a team that finishes high this here maybe to add to the goal oh, another great stop on the play by the Trinidad and Tobago keeper shot and that one blocked away so Cesar making the save Less than 40 seconds remains as Guatemala looks to advance on. Quarterfinals will begin Friday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern. The final game on Friday will be played at 10. We'll have a whole slate of games for you. It's going to be an exciting day. Recycle it all the way back to Ruiz. Guatemala just looking to run the timeout here. Guatemala knowing that this score line will hold. They will advance to the quarterfinals. Even with a draw, they could have done that. Now they just want to make sure that everyone gets out of here healthy as Another long ball over the top. Nine seconds remains. Santizo, really the man of the match. We can make the case for Arvalo as well. And time has expired. Guatemala will move on and the season is done here for Trinidad and Tobago, a frustrating night. Jay Binney, though, scoring two goals for Trinidad and Tobago. It was not enough as Guatemala gets the victory 4-3. to three. We'll have highlights when we return. <laughs> 